Be blessed by the divine. How meditation changed my married life. Well, I was a meditator even before I married. In fact, the reason why my wife married me was because I was a meditator. She learned meditation along with me and we started meditating together from a very young age. Now, how did this meditation help us? Now, as you know, there are two major problems in marriage. One is ego. Other one is illusion based on imaginary expectation. We believe that we must expect a lot from each other in an institution called marriage. And therein lies disappointment. The other side of the coin of expectation are disappointments. Isn't it? Isn't it true that each time you disappointed with your life partner, you go back and ask yourself why you got disappointed in life. Invariably, you will find that your own expectation is the cause. Let me narrate how it affected me in my life. I too had expectations about my wife and I'm very certain that my wife had an equal set of expectations from her side about me. Now there was one single problem that was creating a huge uh, challenge in my own mind I should say. Uh, I expected her to exercise and meditate every day. Now it was easy for her to do so in the early days of our married life because it was just the two of us and we didn't have any kids. And then the first child was born and she had to take care of my son and um, she had she was a successful entrepreneur herself and therefore she had to take care of her business then obviously we were living alone at those days and she had to take care of the family as well and she had to take care of cooking and I would help once in a while but not a regular consistent helper at home. Um, so because of that um, she obviously did not have enough time in the morning and she's an early waker unlike me who had a, a long history of waking up very late in the morning because of the excuse that I worked for the IT industry and uh, people generally are more productive late in the night because the clients work in the night because they're all US clients and European clients. They tend to work uh, pretty late during the Indian hours. Uh, because they are about 5 hours, 6 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours behind us uh, with, with respect to the Indian standard time. Um, so all these excuses led me to having this bad habit of working very late into the night and waking up very late in the morning. Now, when the second child was born, it was even more difficult. The third child was born, it was nearly impossible for her to wake up in the morning and, and then do her exercises. Not that she woke up late. And she consistently woke up around 5 o'clock, 5.30, sometimes as early as 3.30, 4 o'clock she would be up and she would be doing her work. But my expectation led me to various complications such as anger and disappointment and worries and stress and then conflicts between her and me and so on and so forth. So one day I went and asked her, uh, my dear wife, and tell me what, uh, why is it that you don't do your exercises regularly? She looked at me and then she said, Murli, you know what? Why don't you live my, my life one day? I foolishly took up that challenge. I told her, okay, I will try. I woke up in the morning and I saw that it was extremely hard. Within a couple of hours, I crashed and I went and I begged mercy from her to come and rescue me from, my, uh, from the mess that I found myself in. Because it is impossible, you know, by the time I, we started working with, living with our parents, uh, parents also came and lived with us. They were old and in, in Indian custom, as you know, um, the son really takes care of the parents and her parents are also old and they're also with us. So we were like, you know, about um, nine of us in the family and uh, it was nearly impossible for any human being to wake up such early in the morning, take care of nine people and the maid comes, the children were had to be taken care of, they had to be sent to school and so on and so forth. It was um, extremely hard. Then I gave up my expectation. I said, no, this is inhuman to even expect her to wake up in the morning and do her exercises. My job would be to wake up possibly as early as possible in the morning and try and see if I can help her to do her exercises, inspire her to do the exercises. Did I do a good job of it? No, I am doing a pathetic job of it even today. But the thing is, uh, it helped me to get rid of my expectation. It helped me to get rid of my uh, my illusion, illusionary world that I was living in that uh, I'm perfect and I'm a meditator and I should take care of everything in life and that uh, she is imperfect and she doesn't do her exercises. How foolish I was, how bad I was. I was pathetic and really, you know. So 
I gave up that expectation of mine about her and that really, really helped me. That also led me to give up my ego um, with her. Um, I try my level best to tell myself that uh, um, my thoughts, my desire, my expectations, my ideas um, are not um, more important than her desires, her ideas, her expectations and her wishes. Uh, that led me to treat her uh, with respect and I began to one day I sat down and I wrote down a um, nice little diary uh, with I think if maybe about 100 pages long I think a notebook of uh, all the good things that has happened to me because of her and I have written this uh, um, in my blog and I will put a link to that blog uh, in this video in the description in the YouTube section uh, you can see that. Um, you can see um, how grateful I am uh, to what she has done to me in my life and the kind of strengths that she has, I don't have. The kind of uh, um, you know, competencies that she brings to workplace, I really can't bring. And the kind of value system that she has built herself uh, with is something that I can only aspire for, I can only dream for. Now all of this is possible, was possible for me because I was meditating, I was introspecting. When I was sitting and meditating and introspecting, I reflect on all the good things that uh, she has brought to me in my life. And when I recognize that uh, she has a lot of strength and she has brought in enormous amount of value to my life and today who I am thanks to the space and the time and the encouragement and the inspiration that my wife Radha Ishwar has given me. And if you too would like to find peace in your family life, perhaps the starting point is to meditate on your own life force. And the second step is to introspect and recognize how great your spouse is, your life partner is in your life. The moment you recognize that she has or he has in your life a great part, um, a great contribution in your life, you will certainly, like I did, get rid of your ego, get rid of your imaginary expectation and find harmony and peace in your family life. Be blessed by the divine.